Hey, what's up? It's another episode of Watch You Strap In. It's been a while, been super busy, but uh, here we go. Uh, these are not, these are not reviews. They are just quick wrist wash, blah, wrist wash check of the day with a uh, strap of choice. And if it's something new, I will show it on its default strap and or bracelet option first, and then uh, take it from there, from uh, whatever the next post will be with a particular watch. So today I have, uh, a watch that I've been wanting to get for a while. Um, there was a version of this basically in the Seiko Brights that was several years ago, but it looks almost identical, but it's actually a little bit larger. I believe it's titanium, and there's a lot of little nuances and details that are different from this most recent release. Uh, this is the 50th anniversary, and it's kind of weird. The one back then was also considered a 50th anniversary as well, if I'm not mistaken. So being what, at least three, four years apart, I'm not sure why they can both be considered 50th anniversary if they are uh, celebrating the same thing. But uh, it's a discussion for another time. This one is the SBEC005. Uh, that is the JDM... Uh, reference number, which is what I have. Uh, it's also known as uh, SRQ029, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, maybe even a J1 at the end, but basically SRQ029. I think SRQ29? No, it's SRQ029. Anyways, so, and that's the more international reference. Uh, but other than that, I'm not sure there's really any difference. And I'm also curious if, since this is limited to 1,000 pieces, does that include 1,000 total for both references? Or is it 1,000 for each reference? Which, in that case, technically that would, or actually, that might actually mean it's limited to 2,000. Uh, again, so something someone can clarify or, uh, you know, fill me in on, that'd be great. But it's still pretty limited edition. Um, it's a very cool watch. I'm just, just talking about real briefly. I'm just, this is not a review again, uh, but I just really like the way this chronograph looks. It's got this nice brushed silver dial, Berkeley brushed, and um, I just like how they kind of did this sort of offset with the uh, asymmetry of the of the uh, chronograph, uh, you know, subdials. They left those black, whereas the running seconds subdial on the right is actually in silver uh, with a kind of a radiant finish to it so it's a little bit different you can see there and it's got a nice applied indices um i don't mind the date at the 430 it's pretty well centered and uh i think uh, it's fairly you know low key and you know you got the circular elements for the sub dials having this little one down here doesn't really throw it off too much uh not in my opinion it's <laughs> Uh, there's a lot to like about this. I think it is kind of thick, uh, but that's including the high box uh, sapphire crystal, as you can see here. Uh, but it's about 16 millimeters, but you figure this crystal has got to be at least 2, maybe 3 millimeters. Then most of the other part of that is about 13 millimeters in the case, and I guess up to that bezel. Um, and also, you know, Seiko has a way of proportioning its case shape, cutting it, beveling it, all sorts of things to make it wear comfortable and actually appear smaller than, than it is. And if you think about it, you see it's actually wider at the base. This is supposed to be a 41 millimeter watch, but it does kind of narrow towards the crystal, right? So visually, it actually will wear smaller and then the dial itself is kind of compressed a bit more too. It's a trick that I've seen actually Zello shoes a lot in some of their watches. I'd say the Horizons GMT is one example I can think of where the front of it or the top is smaller than the base of the, uh, the case of the watch. And when I had the Helmsman 2, that's also the same case. Like it was like a 42, but it wore at least like a 40, maybe even a 39. It's surprisingly looks small. But well, anyways, uh, this is a stock bracelet. Um, I like it. I think everything is got uh dia dia shield coating uh zaratsu finish so very cool um and uh yeah i'm really enjoying this um i'm gonna do a comparison with this and two of my other mechanical uh 
Chrono Gas, just uh, just for fun. Not saying one is better than the other, but just for comparison, uh, I'm going to try to get that out. Record it tonight, and hopefully get it uploaded over the weekend, and uh, take it from there. So that's about it. Um, hope you have a great weekend, and I'll catch you in the next.